Hey guys, welcome back to Poor Man Mods. We're back in my storage unit. Hopefully I won't be in here much longer. We have been hearing positive news about my shop, but today I wanted to share with you a scan tool that I was sent. This is a Think Diag scan tool. Now they did send me this to review. Every single person that owns a car should have this, and it's probably the best bang for your buck scan tool that you can get, at least that I've seen. This thing blew me away with its capability and its price. At the time of this video, it was around 110, 120 bucks. Price may go up or down. This thing is absolutely worth it. Ironically, around the same time, I was sent a $650 scan tool to review, and I sent it back. It was a nice looking tablet, claimed it could do all these things. When you open it, it was super fancy, and it felt like you were getting a really good item. And I sent it back to him because it couldn't do the things that this $110 scan tool could do. And I told him it wasn't gonna be a positive review. A $650 tool couldn't compete with this thing. And this video is gonna be totally honest. I'm not gonna you know, do any fluff or anything. If you have a different car, the features may vary for your car. But I wanna share with you some of the really cool and important things that I found out that this thing can do with my 2008 ISF. I did have a little bit of experience with a 2003 F-150 as well. And even as old of a vehicle as that is, it was still pretty powerful in that truck. All right, first thing, obviously put your OBD2 adapter into the OBD2 port in your vehicle. Pretty straightforward. I'm sure most of you, I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. And it goes without saying, of course, this thing can read check engine light codes. If you get a check engine light, it's gonna be able to pull up the code. So I'm not even gonna show you that because that's pretty much a given. Some of the things that this device can do is what garages and dealerships can do. Uh, so this is not your average scan tool and I seriously can't believe how much it costs. So let's get into it. I'm not even gonna show you the check engine light codes cause <laughs> that's child's, for this device, that's child's play. So let's get into the real stuff. Um, there is an app that you have to download, Think Diag. Now, probably the biggest drawback that I can think of of this particular device is yes, it was like 110 bucks up front, but that's only for the first year. You do have to pay a yearly subscription for the software. It's like 80 bucks a year, but honestly, it's still worth it. The things that this can do, that $80 investment into your fleet of vehicles, your friends, totally worth the investment in my opinion. 80 bucks a year isn't much. And yes, of course, it can do check engine light codes, but it can do a whole lot more. Let me just show you this. And there's tons of software for all kinds of vehicles, but when you connect it, you can do the VIN decoding and it'll find what vehicle you have and get you the right software. Um, because this is a mobile app and there's a lot of stuff going on, there is a lot of downloading um, and there's a lot of loading. So it's not the quickest operation, but <laughs> there's a lot going on in here. And I, and I also will say some of the menus are kind of hard to navigate or a little bit confusing. They're not very descriptive as to what they are. You kind of just have to go through the menus and see what you can find. So I'll set my area to North America. And then here are three different menus that you can choose from. We'll go to the North America. And like I said, there is a lot of loading in between menus and stuff. So this isn't the quickest device, but it's pretty powerful. So right here, it gives you the basic information about your vehicle. And so if you click on health report, this scans everything in your car. So not just the ECU, it does body faults, transmission faults, ABS faults, um, restraints, like seriously everything. This can read transmission codes and ABS codes, airbag codes. It tells you everything, not just a freaking EVAP leak. And I actually do have some codes here. I have an air conditioning code which that is interesting. So solar sensor circuit passenger side, solar sensor circuit driver side. Not even sure exactly what that is, but that just goes to show that this can even read body modules. Pretty powerful stuff. Power window master switch, another AC code. So very interesting. Um, that stuff isn't going to throw a check engine light. That stuff like the dealership is gonna find, that's where like serious troubleshooting can come into play, those kinds of codes. And of course, you can clear all the codes. Let's do that. 
Here's where it can get pretty powerful with the data reading. So you can go to system selection and you can go to, let's just say powertrain, engine control module, and it'll allow you to read the data of pretty much every sensor. And you can also data log it. So here's a whole list of sensors and values that you can read. This is just for the engine. So misfire, O2 sensors, EGR, all kinds of stuff, and you can graph it. So giant menu that you can go through. But that's not the most impressive thing. Actuation test is pretty freaking awesome. So all these different solenoids and valves, everything that's connected to the computer, you can actually turn on and off. So this allows you to troubleshoot uh, switches and relays and devices. Let's go down here and check cylinder compression. This is super freaking cool. So this allows you, if you're gonna do a compression test, normally, if you're gonna do it, you would have to pull your fuel pump fuse. But with this, if you wanna be even lazier, you just go into the app and it lets you data log some things while you do it. Um, so you can select all these different things if you want a data log. We'll just do uh, battery voltage for shiggles. And so what this is going to do, it's gonna allow you to try to start the engine, but it's gonna disable your fuel system so it's not gonna fire. So you could have someone in the engine bay running the compression tester, but it's not gonna start. So you just do, so with the app, you would turn it on. So check the cylinder compression is on. Now when I go to start this, the car should not turn on. It's just gonna crank. And actually something has been killing my battery. So the car died. Awesome. How embarrassing is that? I killed my battery trying to do this video. I tried to not kill myself and had the car in here with the accessories on. I didn't have it idling in my storage unit cause I don't wanna die. Uh, but I killed my battery trying to make that video. So I guess now we'll go in the ISF with the engine running and I'll do the rest of the features in the car in the dark with it running. Hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, but yeah, this sucks not having my shop. There's no actual power in here. I'm running off a of battery power for these lights, so I can't run a tender on the car. Very frustrating. So let's get in the ISF one more time while it's running and I'll show you the features that I think are really cool. Okay, well, I tried to show you the check cylinder compression. It kind of worked, but basically when you enable that, it'll turn your fuel system off and allow you to do a compression test on your engine without having to take out a fuse or a relay. Very, very cool. Under special function, you can also reset your oil light and you can even write a new VIN number. So I think if you get a different ECU for some reason, and you install it in the car, you can reconfigure the VIN number and make it match your car. How freaking cool is that? Go to the customize menu, and this totally blew my mind. So this allows you to customize different settings in the car. Now, usually you need Toyota Techstream to do this, but check this out. Wireless door lock. This Now this might not be customizable for all vehicles, but at least for this 2008 ISF, it is customizable or change it. There's a ton of different functions that you can modify. This is totally insane. I actually modified this right here, the slide roof. So wireless key related open. I want to disable that because a couple times with the key fob, when I held the unlock button and it opened, it only opened slightly and then it got all misaligned and I had to recalibrate the sunroof. Totally ridiculous, I know. But I didn't want that to happen again, so I turned off the sunroof opening with the key fob. From the factory, it's on. But this just gives you an idea of some of the things that you can customize in here. Let's go to chassis and then ABS. Read data stream for the ABS. This is really powerful right here. This can help you troubleshoot ABS sensors and wheel bearings. Look at this front left wheel speed, front right wheel speed, rear left wheel speed, rear right wheel speed. 
then you can read the data and drive. And if you are troubleshooting a wheel bearing or an ABS sensor, you'll be able to see which one of these is acting wacky or not giving you a signal at all. A lot of times if you get a light, a check engine light or ABS light for a speed sensor, it doesn't tell you which one. But being able to data stream this will help you narrow it down. So this is really, really powerful. This is actually my favorite thing about this. Um, I used a very expensive snap-on tool years ago to troubleshoot a wheel bearing in my legacy and I've been looking to do this feature in a scan tool for so long. This is so powerful. You can even bleed your ABS module and you can also program key fobs. Here's another really cool thing. Go back to this menu here. Like I said, a lot of these are kind of hard to decipher what exactly they are. You kind of just have to go through all of them and learn for yourself. Go to engine management here. And then data list. This puts the car into a diagnostic mode. See over here in the gauge cluster? This is like something they do at the dealership. I don't exactly know what to do with this, but it just goes to show that this program is able to dive that deep into the car. So you can do stuff over here, I guess. I don't really know, but this is definitely a pretty powerful tool. So I don't really know what's going on here, but I wanted to show you that it at least has that capability to do that, to do that with this Lexus. One more important thing, I wanna see if we can read the transmission temperature with this, cause that will really come in handy when you go to do transmission fluid changes on these cars because you need to do it at a specific temperature. Let's see if we can find that. Ah, oh, yes, right here. That right there, being able to read the transmission temperature of this car, that's a big deal too. You need to do, when changing the fluid on this car, I forget the exact procedure, but the temperature of it is extremely important when filling the fluid and making sure you don't overfill it or underfill it. So this is extremely powerful and just makes the tool so worth it. I could spend hours going through all the menus that this thing can do. There is so much data that it can read, so many things that you can change. And I'll just briefly show you the one other menu. So OBD functions, basically reading your check engine light codes and stuff like that. This maintenance function here um, has a lot of resets. Not many apply to this car. Um, a, lot, a lot of these are for much newer vehicles and also diesels. Um, ABS reset, auto focusing headlight reset, DPF reset, key fob, EGR, injector, a ton of things that are very powerful and a lot of times only garages can do, but this tool gives you the power to do a lot of things. Reset TPMS, program, program key fobs, like this thing is freaking legit. You can do reports and everything. There's so much you can do with this. I could be here for hours talking about this. But those are just some of the highlights that I wanted to show you. And yes, like I said earlier, there is a $80 per year subscription for this software, which I still think is worth it. My final thing that I will say about this that I absolutely love is that it's not a big cord. It's not a big bulky system like that $650 tablet that I reviewed and sent back. This is just the OBD2 wireless dongle. You can leave it in your car, drive around with it forever. You don't have to take it out and you can read all this stuff at any time makes it really simple and convenient. I really, really do recommend this. This is so much more powerful than just the Torque app, seriously. So it's the next day. There's a couple other things I wanna to try to show you under the activation test. So let's see if I can show you some things. That just shows you all the things you can control with this app. It's pretty ridiculous. Actuation test for the tilt. And telescoping steering wheel, let's say we can, can control the steering wheel with the phone. And then it always lets you monitor data while you do it. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Look at that. Brad's texting me. So you can control the steering wheel with your phone. Let's see what else we can control here. Driver's side power window.
Let's see if we can put the window down, huh? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. So you guys, pretty much anything that's connected to the body control module, you can control on this. It's pretty insane. Let's see if I can redeem myself and try to do another compression test test with this. So, when you activate this, it only cuts the fuel when you turn it on. So now that it's on, if I go to start the motor, it should not fire. It should just rotate. And then turn it off. Waiting for connection. Starts right up. Makes it super easy to do a compression test. I feel better about myself now. I redeem myself. <laughs> There's another function here that I want to show you guys. This was specifically requested by my friend Brad, the unlock to operation. I think I briefly showed this earlier, but he wants me to change this. So from the factory, if you press the unlock button on the fob one time, it opens the driver door. You have to hit it twice to open the rest of the doors. If you turn this off, one hit of the button unlocks all the doors. So to make Brad happy, we're gonna turn that off. And now, since that is, now since that's off, with the press of the button once, all the doors will unlock. Cool. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the Think Diag OBD2 scanner. That thing is freaking awesome. Way more powerful than I was expecting, especially for the price. And it beat the heck out of that $650 scanner I was sent to. So definitely, definitely a fantastic bang for your buck scan tool. Pretty much everybody should have this. There's no reason why if you own a car, you shouldn't have this. It can save you a ton of time, a ton of money, and it's a total freaking life and game changer. So I highly recommend it. I'll have a link to it in the description down below. And uh, yeah, pick one up for yourself, save yourself some time and money, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope maybe you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.